Um, so, so Mr. Robert, you know, let, we have to we have to go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. You have Nikki Haley. You have a uh, potential potential Ron DeSantis running. Uh, the biggest name out of all, Donald Trump. Donald Trump is running close to 60, 70 percent of the polls. I, since last election, I don't believe in polls, unfortunately, because of the does does the chaos that went around the 2020 election. But, you know, we we've had another presidential candidate on here and I asked him the same question. Y'all are considered long shots. Mm-hmm. And what, what what is your attitude on that as a long shot? Because a lot of people might say, well, Roland Roberts and other ones that are jumping in, they really don't have a shot. They don't have the money like Nikki Haley and other candidates have. What do you tell them going into this race? Or would you tell the American people that say, look, this is a long shot. We shouldn't vote for him because of this, that, that issue right there. Sure. No, it's a great question. And, and the answer is I'm, I'm the dark horse of the race is, is really the position. Uh, obviously, you, people can only currently poll what they know. Uh, but one thing that has been clear from the polls is in the other category, 19 percent are currently voting other, meaning they don't want Donald Trump. They don't want Ron DeSantis. They don't want Nikki Haley, who, by the way, we are uh, running just shy of her not financial numbers. Uh, so she does not have more money uh, and certainly can't go the distance uh, for sure. There's also only a, a few of us, uh, two of us really at the moment that are actually running for president of the United States. I get that there's other presidential candidates, but Nikki Haley's not running to be the president of the United States. Vivek's not running to be the president of the United States. He's great at culture, fighting culture wars, and uh, but he's really better at it as a media pundit. He, he prefers to just be on camera and talking about the issues, and he's good at it. In fact, you know, he'd make a great press secretary for me. I, I'd love to have him, you know, out there, but not running the country. Not when we, whoever is the next president of the United States, must be well experienced in foreign affairs, foreign policy and diplomacy because of the nature of that office. We don't need them. Uh, and of course, with Ron DeSantis, he can't out negotiate Mickey Mouse. He's certainly not going to go toe to toe with Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping of China. So from my perspective, we're not as long of a shot as it seems at the moment, uh, perhaps to some people. And I can tell you that a lot of the politicians that I've been on the U.S. delegation to South Sudan, helping the world's newest nation. They're also the most corrupt nation in the world. And so we've tried to help them learn how to be a country and have good governance. Kind of hard to do whenever we're so corrupt on our side and actually better at it than they are and trying to tell them how to how they should clean up their act. Uh, And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to run for president, because I wanted to do right by people and right by nations and right by God. In the process. So the answer, the short answer to the long shot is Joseph didn't even have, stand a chance. He was in a prison, actually, whenever God called him up in the same day. David was not even in the lineup. And the problem is, and my actually hope and prayer for this election is that we will have a bunch of Samuels in the church, people who have discernment, people who look at the lineup of Jesse's sons and say, you know what? He's not here. He's not here. The next president's not in this lineup. I don't understand. Where is he? He's out in the field. David was doing what he was supposed to be doing, minding his business, being faithful. uh, And it took someone with discernment to say, I'm not picking from these. Where's where is the right one for this time? And I believe that at that at the the moment God ordains, uh, that's the place that I will be. So let, let, as we go on with that point, and I agree with you. I, I think most Christians don't have discernment in politics. Uh, 